Hello, today I'm going to change the belt on my CR30. So this is one of the first production units that was sold. Um, and I believe that these came with a different belt to the um, Kickstarter version and um, the different, uh, also a different belt that came after the initial release. So um, this has always had really low adhesion. It's taken me ages to get it to work. It does work, but um, I've had mixed success using um, glue stick on the belt um, and conditioning the belt with isopropyl alcohol. So um, it still doesn't work 100%. Like I've seen some people who are new to this printer just get the printer and it works straight out of the box. So this has never worked straight out of the box. Um, I've had it for, it must be coming up close to 12 months now. It's, it isn't 12 months, but um, yeah, varying success with it. I've replaced um, the, put that Capricorn tube on, and I've replaced that. And apart from that, I haven't done a great deal to this printer apart from just stuff around with it. But I've got three other printers and they all work perfectly fine. So I've got Ender 3, Ni3 Duplicator and a CR10S. And all them printers work fine. They're actually printing right now. So um, I've got a number of ideas for this printer and I think it'll be a great thing once it's dialed in. Um, Anyway, I bought a belt, another belt, it's a genuine belt from Creality. Um, I actually got this off eBay because it was cheap. So I'm not sure what generation belt it is, but if anyone can give me any info, I'm gonna measure it. So this was shipped on the, 20, on the 1st of July 2021 so I'm thinking it might be the third generation belt but I don't know so um, I've already quickly run the verniers over it it's definitely different to this one so we'll um, take these belts off and compare them with verniers on camera anyway so I've watched the Mac 3 v um, Mac 3D video about changing the belt and also the um, Creality one where they replace a heat bed in the machine so this is the first time I've done this. Um, I believe it's fairly straightforward. Just disconnecting the um, Z stepper motor and the uh, power for the heat bed. There's four screws, uh, bolts here that, one there, one here, one here, and one here that attach to the frame. Once um, they're undone, it should come straight off. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm disconnecting the stepper motor underneath. It's fairly straightforward. So that's done. And then the heat bed connection comes through here and remove that to right that sort of button. Okay, this should lift straight off now. There we go, that easy. All right, I'll remove the printer for the time being because I'm not going to use this for a while. Okay, now removing the belt. We'll flip it upside down. So we need to loosen the adjustment here for these end pieces. Loosen these adjustments. So what I'm going to do to try and get it to um, back to running true is I'm going to count how many turns I undo these. Alright, 
That's 15 turns um, each I've taken off. I think that'll be enough to get these off. So I'm just trying to undo them now. All right, so four screws on each end plate. I just left one in each one just to hold it together until it's all ready to come out. So while I've got this off, I'm going to compare the thickness of that and the new belt. So that one is 1.1 it was 1.10, 1.11, anyway. I'd say it's 1.10. Okay, this one's definitely different. About 1.25, 1.24, 1.25. So, definitely different thickness anyway. So, that's good because it's not exactly the same as the one that I've taken off. So, I'm hoping this is a generation three belt. Um, I have heard somebody say before they got a replacement belt it was 1.4 millimeters. So anyway, we'll see. See, just before I slide it on. Now I'm just putting all these bolts in loose to start with, just so that they're all in. And then I'll nip them all up. Okay, so that's back on. Now I'm going to adjust the um, roller. So you remember I undid it 15 turns on each side. So now I'll tighten up 15 turns on each side. Alright, 
that's already starting to feel fairly taut there. Might just put two more on that. Um, possibly being a new belt, the extra thickness, it does feel tauter than the original already. Put two, two more. One, two. And now we'll put it back in. So the, the adjustment can be adjusted when it's on the machine. So I'm not overly concerned about it. Um, you just have to feed the Z axis and watch where the belt runs and make adjustments required on the fly. So it feels pretty good. I know it's even, so it's nice and taut. So we'll put this back in. Heat bed power back up. And the Z stepper motor. And that's it. That is the belt replaced. So now I'm gonna go and put it back where it lives and do a level on it and run it through a few Z cycles and rub the belt down with isopropyl alcohol and see how it goes. So hopefully it's better than the old one and it is, I'll report back. Okay, so I've leveled the bed a few times, had a few failures initially. Um, I did um, rub the belt down with isopropyl alcohol, um, scoured it, cleaned it off with a towel. Um, anyway, this is the uh, calibration cube that I'm printing out now. Seems to be working pretty good. It's got good adhesive, adhesion I should say. There's nothing on the belt to, to stick it on there. Um, no assistance whatsoever, no hairspray, no nothing. So, um, happy with that. So yeah, I did condition the belt, um, scrubbed it down a few times. And interestingly, when I did that with the old belt, there was quite a bit of uh, black material that came off the belt. And um, yeah, and when I uh, wiped it, yeah, it was on the, on the cloth. This one, nothing really come off it. So I was a bit surprised actually because I gave it a vigorous scrub and nothing came off. So anyway, all good. So hopefully we're up for more reliable printing from here on in. All right, thanks for watching.